And then what I do is, if you've known my other videos, I like to make layer, lay, um, lay things flat. So that whenever it's time for me to use it, it's easier for me to thaw it. So it doesn't seem like much, like why not keep it like this? I want to try to make it as thin as I can. And then I can easily open up the bag and it can be thawed out. Let me go ahead and get my freezer bags. And I'll just go ahead and layer it on in. And I'm gonna go ahead and get some wax paper. Because sometimes when it freezes, and I went ahead and got this from Sam, some wax paper here. It'll help us so that whenever I, it's frozen and I'm taking it out, I can grab just one individual one and it helps to make it so that it doesn't stick together. So that's nice. So closing it on up, getting the air out, and make sure you always label your stuff because you'll you remember now, but a week from now, maybe not so much, or two months from now, or three months from now, maybe not so much. Okay. There we go. Zoom it in so you can be able to see it. So there we go. So this right here, I have around seven and a half bags, and I can easily use this real quickly. I already have onion sauteed. I have bell peppers sauteed, I have celery sauteed, and then I already have chicken prepared, I have noodles prepared. So all I need to do, so I can be able to make it in like seven, eight minutes, heat up the pan, I always put it on high because I'm cooking fast, and then as soon as it heats up, um, or you can do medium high, put a little olive oil in it, and then throw the onions in, the bell peppers in, and the um, celery in, and then let it heat up some, and then put the meat in, the chicken, I'll cut it up, put the chicken in, and then throw the noodles in. You can make stuff so fast. Prepping is just so awesome. So even though this seemed like it's, it could be time consuming, not really. Based off of how we have this right here, this can be seven different meals where you're adding in um, bell pepper. And it all just comes together. You can watch my videos and see just how um, the things that I'm making, um, how you can be able to use them and make it so that you can cook things so much faster. All right, so there you go. There's the bell peppers. I'm gonna go ahead and date them, and um, I'll go ahead and give it maybe three, four months. I'm not really sure how long it lasts, because a lot of times I go through it pretty quick, but you can let me know if it can last a year in the freezer, um, especially if you're using some of your food saver bags and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and definitely God bless.